Hey guys, it's Seaweed from Travel Suit Project, and welcome to another episode of Sensational. Um, this is the how the building how to series. Um, we've got our entire home already built. We've got our walls on the inside and our stairs all set up, and we are now ready to furnish this house. Um, you will need to know how to use a couple of the building cheats in order to do this in the way that I'm doing this. You're going to need to know how to do the move objects cheat, how to use the show hidden objects cheat, and the um the unlocks entitlement cheat. So um, without further ado, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and um, turn those cheats on. If you don't know how to use these cheats, I will provide a link down in the description below that goes to the episode on building cheats and it teaches you how to do all that cool stuff. So let me go ahead and first get my move objects. Okay, now the show hidden objects. And then the um, ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. Um, what I actually do with these cheats because some of these are really long, like this one, and I'm not really the best typer, and I tend to mistype things. I have a Word document that I just keep my cheats where I can usually copy and paste them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with that one because that is a really long one. So, okay. All of our cheats are on and now we can go ahead and check this out and see what we want to do. Okay, once we've got our uh, cheats all entered and on, um, the first thing I do is first make sure that I've got my uh, time of day toggled to afternoon because it does provide the brightest amount of light. And then I just go over and I grab some really bright lamps so that I can really see the area that I'm working in. When you're working with colors, you really... You want to be able to see what you're doing, what things look like. So um, this is a really bright light. So I'm just going to randomly place these. Um, you can change the lights out and move them to a better location later on. You can add your invisible lights if you choose to do it that way. Um, it's just easier in the very beginning to just go ahead and place several lights so that you can just go ahead and start working on it and then worry about what you want it to look like later. So I'm just going to place a bunch here and there. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put one up here too. All right, so I've got my lights. So I can really see very well now what I'm doing. Um, one of the tips um, I'm going to go ahead and repeat that I had worked on when we did the floor plan was to put furniture inside of grooves like this. When I have my walls up, you can see how I made this wall column here. And then there's the back of this wall right here. And as I had said last week, this whole like big hallway area is also going to double as a reading room. And I can go ahead and I can place um, some bookcases right in there. I'm not really sure which ones I'm going to use yet. I'll just go ahead and place this in here real quick just to kind of give you an idea of what I mean, what it looks like. It looks really cool cool like that. I do have really tall walls, but um, what you can do to kind of cover this space that you have, you can either, once you have your move objects cheat on, you can take another bookcase and you can raise your bookcase up and there's uh, instructions on how to do this also in the uh, building sheet episode which is linked in the description below you can just raise this up to make it a really tall bookcase you wouldn't really want to use this one the best one to do that with is actually this one here it goes really nicely together you don't have any of this area in here um or what i usually do is i usually i'll get some kind of um flower 
that's actually like from the window box, a window box flower like this one. And um, you can put that on there so it's on top of it. You could blow it up and then put it on there. So it covers the entire area, however you want to do it. But yeah, that's one of my tips on the decorating. Um, another tip, which we had gone over that last week also, is to kind of try to create these little foots, these little, these little foots, these little feet here, so that you can stick something like a shower goes really well in that area. And this way you don't lose a whole lot of space for your entire bathroom. We weren't going to be spending any time in this hallway out here anyways so um yeah so those are two really good decorating sheets so once you're ready to decorate you can either do what i do and you can go through all this and pick everything out out put your wallpaper put your floor tiles pick out all your furniture one thing at a time or you can also go over here to the stylized rooms and um you can go ahead and you could just uh, take your room, you just put it in and pull it out to whatever size you want it to be. And um, that's a really cool thing to do like that. Um, you can also go to the gallery and you can um, check out, da, 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 once it's loaded up, you can check out, if you come over here to uh, the rooms, you can input what size, what kind of room, how much you're willing to spend, all that. And you can lay um, decor like that as well if you weren't, if you don't have anything real specific in mind and you just kind of want to get it done if you don't enjoy doing that. Um, that's another good way to do it. But um, I don't do it. Sometimes I do that. Very rarely I do it like that. If I just, I really cannot figure out something good. Um, People are really creative in the sim community and they build a lot of really cool stuff and you should definitely take advantage of that. So anyways, what I do when I start to decorate a room is I kind of try and first think about the color scheme. Um, a really good example of how I do this is um, the bedrooms. Um, depending on what kind of sim they are, what their aspiration is and what their personality is um i'll pick out my main piece of furniture for the room and like these sims are kind of outdoorsy country slash hippie type sims so i don't want anything too modern looking i want kind of a more traditional feel and the first thing i'll do is i'll pick out say this bed right here say like that and then what I'll do is I'll come down here to the rugs. And I will try to pick a rug that kind of matches the bed, but also has a contrasting color to it. Um, for instance, like this run right here, we've got a dark blue bed. And then we pick out this rug that has both the dark blue, it's got a yellow, that's kind of an orangey look, and it's also got a pink in it. Once I have those things picked out, once I've got my rug and my main piece of furniture picked out, it'll make it much easier for me when I try and figure out what kind of wallpaper I want to use. Because you don't want you don't want to be like, oh, this sim really likes blue and have everything in that room be blue. You want to have complementing and contrasting colors. So um, once you do it like this, you've got your rug and your main piece of furniture picked out. You can kind of go from there. You know, I can have my um, wall that's the same color as the carpet. Then I can come over here and I can put like the little um, ottoman at the end. I can have it be the same color as the carpet or walls, that orangey yellowish color. Or I could even do like a pinkish color because there's pink in the rug also. So um, that's my second tip. You should pick out your main piece of furniture and your rug first so that you can... Um, decide what you want the walls and the floor tiles to look like. It's just, it's a lot easier if you do it like that. 
Um, let me think here if I have any other tips in regards to this. Um, you know, I really, I don't think I do. Um, that's about it for that. And I am going to go ahead and decorate all these rooms. And you'll kind of like speed through the viewing of it while listening to some amazing music.
And there you have it guys, a completely finished Country Tutor home. And I did save this lot under the name of Country Tutor and it is available for download in the gallery under my username which is seaweed102. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot from watching these videos. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions or if there's anything in particular that you would like to see and know how to do go ahead and leave a comment down below you can send an email um subscribe to the channel for sure check out the website and some of my other stuff which is all linked into the description below and until next time guys happy simming i will see you later bye